so now we're on a roof. Do you ever stop complaining? Come on. Come on, what are you, chicken? Jump! What did you call me? Well, now that you mention it... Wow, that was a close one. Lee with a great jump right there, and we barely escaped the garage, too. Who knows what's to come now? Come on. Later. Something I gotta do first. What? Catch you later. Wait, you still got the battery? Yeah, I think I'll hold on to it. Make sure you don't leave without me. See you back in class. Molly! God damn it, what the hell is she doing? That's what I want to know. Can't open it without the combination. Bad. I don't know the combination to any of these. Alright. I'm going to head back to the room here just to see if anybody else has been able to come, uh, or if anybody else has come back yet with anything that they're supposed to do. Little help! Little help here! each other just yet. Let's get the hell back to the classroom. It's a hand with these fuel cans. They weigh a goddamn ton. Alright, so it's almost done. You're back. Yeah, and we made out pretty good too. Great work, Kenny. How you doing with that door? Not so good. Here, let me give you a hand. Did you get that battery yet? Yeah, Molly has it. She should be back here soon. She'd better be. Yeah, I think she better be. Bree? Hey, Lee. Thanks for all your help back there. I don't think we would have made it without you. No problem. We're all on the same team. So you're a cancer survivor, like Vernon and the others. Yeah, I was diagnosed when I was in college. Been getting treatment ever since. Just when I was starting to get better, when I thought there might be some hope, all this happened. Lost my whole family. I'm the only one who survived. Funny how things work out, huh? How long have you known Vernon? A couple of years. He ran our support group. He was really great, helping me come to terms with my disease. But how do you come to terms with something like this? With a place like Crawford? I don't know what I or, or the other survivors would have done without Vernon. He's the one who held us together, kept us alive. I'll be back. Got some things to do. Good luck. Let's check out what's going on over here with the armory door. Might be able to use what's in there. I mean, there's like high-powered guns. Oh. You okay, Clem? Yeah. Where's Molly? She had to go run an errand. She'll be back soon. I hope she's okay. She'll be fine. She's pretty tough. Just sit tight, okay? I need to go take care of a few things. All right. All right, now we'll check on the door. I couldn't pass up a chance to talk to Clementine. What do we still need? We already got the fuel and the battery. Once we find some medicine, we'll be good to go. 
So where's this battery you found? Molly has it. She ran off to do something. Well, she'd better bring it back here. I don't know why you trusted that girl with it. We hardly know her. She saved your life, didn't she? <laughs> yeah, but what has she done for me lately? Save your life? I don't think she's going to go away with it because she knows that the boat is her way out too. Alright, so we got two things here. Now we just got to worry about the medicine. I'm just going to walk around here though, see if there's anything that I can find. See what's happening with the door here. still at the door. Not going to go ahead and mess with that or anything. That could cause a lot of problems. Whoa. Shit. Kristen Vernon must be trapped in there. At least I've got my gun. There's got to be something I can shoot to take them all down. I... Dang it. Here we go. I'm going to take them all out here because it looks like that's all I've got to do. Ten. Ten shots if you include the one at the door that I had earlier. All right, I'm okay with that. They wandered into the hallway after we got inside. I think they must have heard us rooting around in here. The whole place is infested. They're everywhere. Calm down. I took care of them. What about the mids? Did we find what we need? Yeah, that's our other problem. Take a look. Looks like they were keeping all the prescription meds in that safe, locked up tight. There's no way we can bust it open? Maybe with enough time, but I don't know how much of that we have. Be a hell of a lot quicker if we just knew the four-digit combination. Well, I doubt they just wrote it down and left it here for us to find. We should just try busting it open. We don't have any other choice. Okay, you get started. I'll take a look around, see if I can find anything useful. Obviously, this is like their hospital, so there's got to be something I can use. Just a bunch of papers. No safe combination, though. I don't think it's going to be just somewhere visible. What's this? Looks like some kind of medical file. Anna Correa. Guess she must have been a patient here. And what's this? All right. How's it coming? Slow. Too slow. I'm worried that by the time we manage to get this thing open, it may be too late. Hey, Doc. Uh, I just wanted to thank you for coming with us. And for all your help. I really appreciate it. Don't mention it. It's times like these we've got to help each other the most, right? And we're no better than those Crawford sons of bitches. I heard that. How much time do you think Omid has, Doc? You want my medical opinion? The sooner we get him some strong antibiotics to start fighting that infection, the better. Let's just leave it at that, huh? Molly helped me get the battery we needed. That's great. One down. Where is she? She took off. Had some kind of errand she needed to run. Took off? With the battery? Yeah. Don't worry, she'll be back. I hope so. That girl doesn't really strike me as a team player. More the mercenary kind. I'll go see if I can find something that'll help us get that safe open. Good idea. Hmm. Not working. What is this? A copy machine. Not that it matters with no power around here. Probably not going to be in there. 
I'll have to take time to rest later, I think. What's this? Vernon, Krista, come look at this. This is day 82 since the outbreak. 1547, Dr. Logan in consultation with patient Anna Correa. Why are you recording this? Regulations. Oberson has ordered me to keep records of all medical examinations and consultations. I need you to brace yourself, Anna. The sonogram confirms that you're pregnant. Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. As you know, the rules are very clear. The termination is mandatory. You don't have to tell them. Tell them it was just nausea. But you gave me something for it and it went away. This is my problem, not yours. If Oberson finds out that I concealed evidence of a pregnancy, I'm sorry, but these are the rules. I'm going to give you a sedative. It'll make the procedure easier on you. I don't want the procedure. I want my baby. I can't do this. I can't do this. Anna, you don't have a choice. Now, if you like, you can take some time with this. But I need you to come back no later than tomorrow. Or I'll have no choice but to inform Oberson myself. I'm sorry. Crazy. Damn it. We almost had it. What the hell kind of place was this? Like Molly said, the worst kind. Lee, maybe there's another tape. We gotta keep looking. I think I recognize that doctor. He was one of the walkers out in the alley by the auto shop. Maybe you should search it. See what he's got on him. All right, here we go. Kind of find out where he is. I don't know if I have to walk the whole way back or what. That's going to take a while. Yep, looks like I absolutely do have to walk all the way back to where he was. So it kind of makes a lot of sense as to why Molly really went at that one guy here. Uh, who I guess I'm going to go ahead and try and visit. I don't know. But if this guy was performing abortions and stuff like that whenever people got pregnant, who knows? Maybe Molly got pregnant and he was the one who went ahead and killed her baby. That right there, I think, would cause that type of emotion. Alright, so I remember... I went down here and it was a dead end, so I had to go through the shack. Or whatever this is over here to kind of get to that section. And up. Oh, what? That dude literally came out of nowhere. What? Gotta chase after him, but I have a feeling this is not gonna be easy. Maybe it will be. This might be just what we need. And what's this? Looks like some kind of code. But Vernon said the safe combination was only four numbers. Shit, time to go. All right, time to head back. Yes, I didn't have to walk all the way back, too. I wish everything was that convenient. You know, you just search in somebody's pocket, and then it's like, log in, and it's got a safe number. Oh, well, I know it's just a video game, but still. All right, so let's go into the room, see if we can watch this other video and get a better understanding of what exactly happened. As soon as I get a good look here at Lee, let's head in.
found another tape. This one's dated October 10th. That's the day after the first one we watched. Put it in. Have you made a decision? I thought you said I didn't have a choice. Well, technically you do. You can terminate the pregnancy or leave Crawford. Of course, that would be a death sentence for both you and your unborn child. Maybe that's best. I stayed up all last night thinking about this. Why are we even trying to survive, to keep on living, if this is what it takes? If this is what it's turned us into? I don't make the rules, Anna. Doctor, I'm begging you. Please help me. Maybe one day, when things are different, you can try again. But for now, today, we have to do this. I think we know what happened to Crawford. More importantly, we got the combination. <laughs> Krista, are you all right? What's wrong? It's nothing. That was just hard to watch. Don't worry about me. I'm fine. All right. Let's get those meds and get the hell out of here. We're in business. Antibiotics, morphine. We'll take as much of this as we can carry. Okay, I think we're good. This is more than enough for your people and mine. Let's go. You go on ahead. I want to make sure we didn't miss anything. I'll be right behind you. Don't take too long. Phones probably haven't worked in months. All right. I'm just going to skip ahead. We're going to get out of here uh, just because I searched around for a while. And honestly, I didn't find anything here that was really useful at all. So we're going to go ahead and end the video, of course, right here. So, of course, thank you for watching, you guys. I sure do appreciate it. More, of course, of The Walking Dead to come later on. So make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. And follow me on Facebook, Twitter, all that great jazz. Just check the description below. But thanks again for watching, you guys. I appreciate it. And as always, I hope you guys have a good one.